hug you, I ain't gonna fight. I give up, I'm doing the other night. Everything's wrong, everything stinks. The only thing that broke a hallelujah is the kitchen sink. When's it happen? Howdy, cop. folks. Howdy, oh, folks. Uh, oh, we, oh, we're here. Yes. All right. Okay. Howdy, folks. Uh, Big Ed Barnum here from uh, Big Ed Barnum's Bobble Barn and Garden. And Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson from Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson's Ejection Seat, the only Southwest food cart uh, guaranteed not to give you diarrhea if you only eat there once. Uh, with a very... Very special message for we're you. We're supposed to be on... Uh, we're supposed to say that at the same time. I did, oh, well, I, I was ready. You want to try it again? Uh, let's no, try it I just, again. I didn't let's, expect, let's just do the very special just, part, all right? In three, two... You want to go on one, or you want to go three, two, one, go? I'm hung up on diarrhea. How, uh, uh, three, two, one... With a very special, special message for him. All right, we'll, just, it. We'll, yeah, we'll try I it next like time. Yeah, I like it that time. I, right. That deserves a celebration. Uh, all right, and you've joined us, uh, I hope, uh, for spring into happy hour. It's uh, 6 p.m. here on the West Coast. A perfectly, mm -hmm. perfectly it's, a, it's an entirely reasonable time to have a happy hour. And yeah. I realize if you're on the uh, East Coast, uh, you know, it might be, you might be uh, half a bottle into your happy hour right now. I'm going to take a sip of this. Don't. Let let it. Set there. Don't worry about the middle of the country. Not that we shouldn't right. worry about well, the middle of the yeah, country, but if, I know you're going to get gone on. If you're in the uh, central or uh, yeah, mountain time zones, you know, I, I figure half the time you're tired of tired of people telling you uh, what time it ought to be uh, for you, and you can you guys can do you know whatever you want. Maybe they're tired about people getting confused about what they may or may not be tired about. Anyway, maybe. maybe. Uh, anyway, it's uh, spring into uh, happy hour here. Uh, this is our first. This is we were supposed to do this last week, and we had some uh, had some problems uh, getting it out there. So this is actually technically our first one, and uh, I think I think it's uh, we got to do our proof of live. Oh, do we have to? Well, I think we have to. So I'm going to kick you out of here. All right. Uh, you'll be back here pretty soon. All right. uh, Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson. Cole here. Screaming gonna, Eagle Wilson. He's going to make sure uh, some of our. He's ejecting here for just a second, but I'll be back. All right. So uh, proof of live. You know, I know uh, if you're on a, a Facebook right now, it, it says live. Uh, and I'm talking to you, but you know, for some folks, that's not good enough. So uh, we always provide uh, proof of live with the. Uh, I'll oh, get. Right. I'll, I'll get this. One. I'll get this one Why day. Why don't you back it out a little? Uh, here, with me. with today's uh, yes. New York Times. New York here. Times. Here, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Right oh, that's there. the wrong way. That's the wrong yeah. way. What are you doing? I'm I'm showing them the date. All right. Friday, March. Hey, that ain't. To, oh, that is today. It is My today. Okay. Uh, and and of course we've lingered on uh, the tragedy uh, in Venezuela uh, far too long. So I'm going to skip right to uh, my favorite part. You know, uh, every day the New York Times has something different. Uh, Thursday they have the style section, which I always like. Mm, um, I like looking at that one. And on Fridays they have the weekend arts section. Not just uh, one of them, but they have two. This is. Uh, Weekend Arts 2. Mm -hmm. You know, it's New York. There's all kinds of art happening. Anyway, uh, Cole, uh, what's the difference between a hostage oh, negotiation... And, and a Reddit AMA. Well, hang on, let me get it out there for the folks. What's the difference between a hostage negotiation and a Reddit AMA? Uh, uh, one of the, the participant in one of them is there by choice. Is a volunteer. That is a is volunteer. Correct. That's the same thing. All right. So, <laughs> All right. I got it. I still uh, today's don't get it, weekend but... arts two <laughs> section uh, has uh, features uh, an artist that I have followed a little bit, uh, Sally Mann. Uh, she's a photographer. Uh, I think she does other things as well. Has a uh, exhibit at the National Gallery of Art. That's in Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. And uh, she capital. specializes in tin type photos and uh, I think silver. It's pronounced tinatype. Silver, maybe it is, tinotype photos or uh, silver gelatin printing uh, photos. Technology that's been around for about 150 years. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, photos here. And, you know, even if you haven't seen any of her work before, each of these photos, you know, it, it looks like a place that you know. Maybe you've been to one of these places in your head. Maybe you've been there in your heart. Uh, maybe both. And some of them are just kind of haunting. Uh, like this, uh, this one's a, of a Baptist church, uh, and it looks like it's on fire. Which, uh, if you know anything about the South, there's there's been some problems with uh, church burn. I don't, I, I shouldn't yeah, linger I on that at all. Anyway, I find this a very haunting uh, photo. And then uh, she takes, she take, she also takes a lot of weird pictures of her kids. Uh, and uh, chances are, if you've seen uh, an elegant, uh, I'm going to get myself in. She likes taking pictures of her naked kids. I'll just put it that way. And anyway. Well, uh, now, hold on. 
old, Ed. We've all had a naked picture taken of us when we're under the age of three, I'm pretty sure. This all is right. it's it's gone Moving off the rail. All right. Well, I gotta take a sip now. Anyway, that's proof now of wait, drive. is that a picture taken while we're naked or a picture that we are taking of something while being naked? Well, I don't know. Because I took a few of those. We're usually in the bathtub uh, and we're naked. And we're... Anyway, we... uh, I'm, I'm just going to edit that part out. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to do the uh, crossword puzzle uh, later. <laughs> yeah, wrong. Now, uh, it is happy hour. I hope you're having some sort of drink uh, for some reason. You know, we usually drink whiskey here, and we're having uh, Rainier right now, which uh, I don't know if you know uh, Rainier Ale. It, it sort of Ooh, tastes, you know, it's sort of like the water from a, a mountain, uh, from a mountain stream, and then honeybees got together and made some sort of delicious nectar. Uh, that's the way I like to describe uh, Rainier Ale. And you know what else Ed pointed out to me, because he is a wordsmith, uh, I've, uh, I've lived here in the Northwest for quite some time and uh, never realized that it actually spells Rainier. Rainier, yes. Rainier. As it, is, it was it, rainy today, but it's going to be rainier tomorrow. And it's rainier up there <laughs> than it is... And it absolutely is. Mount Rainier. In, uh, I never you know, even, Arizona. I, ever, I learn something new from this son of a bitch every day. Uh, I well, I'm, uh, I'm hoping everyone else does as well. Uh, so that's what we're drinking right now. Uh, as you know, we like to talk about books here uh, on, uh, you know, if you know me, drinking and book reading go hand in hand. Uh, today's book that we're going to talk about, you know, it's sort of appropriate for Easter. It's Pork and Sons. I still haven't got this thing uh, figured out. Uh, by uh, I almost said Stefan. It's Stefan Renaud uh, as a Frenchman. Uh, and this is a fading yeah. book. So uh, it's it's a high-priced, uh, falutin book. Uh, Wait, and this fading? Fading. P-H-A-I. Oh, that's the uh, uh, That's the publisher. Gotcha. All right. Uh, and this book is, uh, it's, it's like a tome. Uh, if, if it feels a little hot in the in the photo there, so uh, I'm not going to worry about that. It also feels soft. It is I soft. It, it's a hardcover book, but it's like there's a like a, a quilted padding here or something. Uh, and and this is a book that explores all the kinds of ham and ham products, uh, charcuterie. Uh, you know, if you want to smoke something, if you want to uh, dry age it, anything like that. If you just want to make sausage, uh, this book. Uh, sort of covers all of that, and one of the f one of my favorite parts of this book, see if I can get this in here, is it profiles a lot of the French butchers and uh, charcuterie makers. I don't know if that's charcutier. I don't know what that word is, but I don't know what's hanging from the top of the picture. I believe that's uh, meat that is uh, being dry aged, turned into uh, delicious. Uh, sausages and whatnot, and this this little uh, section here is called uh, Blanchou and Florette. Uh, Blanchou is the butcher, and Florette mm -hmm. is the dog. It's hard to see the dog in that photo because mm -hmm. it's uh, the contrast there is a little odd. So you that get, ain't the dog hanging from the ceiling. That is not the dog right. hanging from okay. the ceiling. Uh, and you know, I I enjoy this book immensely. Uh, the only thing I would have to say, if you're looking for recipes in terms of how to make charcuterie, sausage, and things like that, it's, it's not the best book for that. It assumes you have a source for that type of stuff already. And the recipes in this book are really just showing you how to pair things up, how to make a delicious meal. This one here is uh, ham and pickle sandwiches, which I just mm -hmm. think sounds like uh, something you'd get... Uh, well, at a truck stop or a 4th of July uh, reunion or Easter. Or really good state fair. You know, uh, it's speaking of Easter, it's always this time. Uh, it's always this time of year that I, I remember, and I don't know why I think about this all the time, Cole, but uh, I was at a truck stop uh, out in eastern Oregon. Actually, it's on the other side of the border. It's the Boise uh, stage stop. There's a truck yeah, stop that's, out that's there. that's far eastern Oregon. And I was at this truck stop, and, and I had just ordered uh, a pot pie. And uh, mm -hmm. this fella now was it comes up. now was this a was this a jubits? No, it was not a jubits. So, so I it had, was so they made a pie. For so it. well, they didn't make it, but the pie was ready to go. But they bake it to order. So I had a good 35, 40 minutes. At jubits, they'll just stick that thing in the microwave, and and we all know what that does to it. Well, uh, turkey yeah. pot pie, chicken beef pot, whatever pot pie you have going. So I had about 35, 40 minutes mm -hmm. uh, before the pot pie would show up at the table. Then, of course, you have about another yeah, 35. another 20 or 30 minutes. Because it's just too hot because, to eat. Yeah, it starts as lava. But it's, but it's like yeah. a work of art, that pot pie just sitting there. 
sort oh, of smells good sort too. of uh, yeah. enticing no, you. The experience into, starts it's, when it arrives. It's a it's a, it's a pleasurable tease. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so I'm at the truck stop and I just ordered uh, a pot pie. And this fella asks me if I'd like to take a personality test. Oh, yeah. And and uh, he was a doctor. Uh, he also had a CDL. All right, uh, one of thought, those is one of those is not true. Well, I, I mean, his credentials seemed uh, pretty in order. Uh, and I said, well, I just ordered a pot pie, so I do have some time on my hands. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I'll take a personality test. Mm -hmm. And the no questions, better, you know, I don't remember uh, the content of all the questions. Some of them were uh, pretty weird. Uh, but I do remember uh, this one question. He said, when you eat a chocolate bunny, do you eat it ears first? And I said, hell, I don't know. I've, I haven't had a chocolate bunny in 35 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, well, would you like one? And and I was a little confused at this point because, I mean, I've taken personality tests before. But, you know, the question, the content of the questions, there's there's never like this interactive thing where... You know, I, I was just, he was I, testing his own personality. I was just a little, uh, like, and I said, no, I don't want a chocolate bunny because I've I've got a pot a pie pot pie coming, yeah. and I and I don't want to ruin uh, my dinner. Uh, th this this is this story, story going somewhere, Ed? It doesn't go anywhere. It's just about every Easter I recall this story. Well, you know that story that, shouldn't have even started because you you know Cole screaming Eagle Wilson's three rules for life. I told you a hundred mm, times. I, <laughs> Rule number it, one. Be as kind to everybody as you can. Well, that goes without. Which you can't do all the time because sometimes people are, are right. dumb. <laughs> Rule number two, never take a personality test at a truck stop. Even well, if it's free, even if it comes with a chocolate Easter bunny. It does sound sensible. No, uh -huh. And no, rule no. number three, tequila is disgusted. Uh, that, okay, <laughs> that's not a rule. Well, that's I, more of a well, personal. Well, it's, it's a universal absolute. statement of life. I don't know why anybody would put that. You know, I like to drink it. I, well, why, but why would you put that in your body? I, some people find tequila, uh, even mezcal, uh, a delicious. Yeah, uh, well, product. we ain't in so, Miami. Well, so all right. So I, I know. Well, apparently, I just learned your philosophy on personality tests. Uh, but you've always struck me as uh, someone who who likes a challenge, Cole. Oh boy. Well, I have oh, a challenge. Oh boy, I like a challenge. I have a challenge for you, uh -huh. and I hope uh, everyone who's watching us right now can enjoy. Uh, oh, I just saw somebody will the ham spin. Oh, we have good forgot. God damn. Sorry. Thank you, Rick Marquardt. Hold on. Uh, the ham I don't will know. spin. The ham is a spin. Was that the challenge? Do I win? What did you I win, win the, You You fulfilled your contractual obligation to turn on the ham. Thank Heck you. Yes, I did. Uh, Rick, right. Ma Rick Marquardt, uh, I think that's the second time. Uh, you have called us out for not rotating the ham. What does Rick uh, Marquardt I believe win? I believe he's tied with Roger C. Adams in terms of calling us out on the... I think it's tied two to two. And and um, when does the uh, the uh, match end? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll post the official All right. uh, ham spinning... So we're, we're going to a decider. Uh, reminder All contest right. rules uh, later. So, a uh, challenge. And Get I think challenge. everyone... I think everyone uh, will enjoy this. Uh, Cole, I have hidden, in the spirit of Easter, uh -huh. 12 eggs uh -huh. on the set. Uh -huh. And I realize the set here is about 18, uh, if we're going to be generous, about 21 square feet. All right, okay. And I have okay. hidden okay. 12 Easter eggs. Okay. And uh, I don't know how much time you'll need to get them, but I'm going to oh, give you, I'm, I'm gonna give you not about much. 90 you seconds. You know I got a keen eagle eye. They don't call mm -hmm. me Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson. And I'm going to get out of here okay. uh, so that you have the full thing. Okay. Uh, what are they all? Okay. Are they, they all visible by the they audience? Are, they are all in sight within the frame or obscured by something within the frame. Okay. All right. If that makes sense. Okay. All right. I'm going to get out of okay. the way here. Hold on. Now, I ain't going to start yet. I ain't, I ain't even looking. Okay. Now. I want a time, okay? You know, I want to be a challenge because I could spend all night here. And all right, find a, uh, two uh, minutes. What no, you two okay. Minutes? You remember that uh, bit from Julius Caesar that uh, you memorized uh, uh, when you were at that Ren Fair and you wanted to look cool? <laughs> you remember that? No. You don't remember it? I'm trying to suppress it. It, it ends, and I am he. All right, okay. Do you think you can do that? No, I, I don't remember that at all. Well, but, all right, all right. just can't. Right. You're eating go. into your time. Go. No, oh, okay. Find those eggs. There's 11. Okay, there's here's 12 one. of them. One with nothing in it. All right, that's all right. one. Uh, here's, here's two. Okay. Nothing in that one. Splendid. Uh, okay, here's three. 
Three empty eggs. Well, well that's uh. Ed, I don't think you entirely understand the point of an egg hunt, okay? Well, Four it, empty eggs. This is exciting, ain't it? Oh, here's another one. It's about the hunt. It's not about uh -huh. the Uh-huh, yeah, hunt. well, five, all right? Why hunt if there's no reward? Six. Six, six okay, empty six. eggs. Six to I think go, that's six a, down. I think that's a nursery rhyme. Here's six another one. Go. Let me guess. Is there something in this one? Oh, it's empty. Excellent. Hey, I turned the ham on. I bet there's a... Full egg, full of prizes, some reason to actually look for it. At least it's sticky. No, it's empty. What am I on? Seven? I don't know. Seven or eight? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, okay. four to go. Okay. Uh, it's on the set. Oh, hey, there's one. All right, nine to go. Nine. Yeah, I, I'm nine. Sorry, they're, they okay. can't all be full of something. Okay. It's on the set. All right. Uh, this fridge is on the set, ain't it? Yep, yeah, it is. Oh, good God. <laughs> Oh God! It's like Godfather in here. Horse head after horse head after horse head. That's uh. There's another one. That's out, oh, of, that ain't that's out of the frame. I don't know if anybody can uh, see it. It's full of horse heads. You see, just one horse head after another. In this All right. That, that's, Why you gotta keep them cold? They're already dead. Hey, there's another egg. All right. What's that? Ten? I think that's ten. Ten. I don't see no more in here. I can tell you, there's no more in the fridge. All right. I'm gonna get this guy out of here. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, all right. Son of a gun. What am I missing? Hold on now, hold on now. Come on, baby. So we already got one. No, oh, I picked one. Ah, hey, 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 all right. Eleven. Eleven. I only got one more, huh? Well, one more to go, and I think yeah. you know that's that's enough time for this. You know what, Ed? Uh, Ed, uh, I knew you were going to try and screw me, so I brought my own egg. No, so I found that's number not, twelve. That's not one huh? of the eggs I hit. Yeah, I had it in my map pocket. Wait, you know what? This game ain't over. It's not. You've had no you have another because egg to you know what, ladies and gentlemen out there in uh, Facebook TV land, I've known Ed for a long time, and I know that he gets a special look on his face. <laughs> his countenance takes a, a special feature when he is hiding something under his hat. Ed, I want you to take your hat off right now. Slowly, right. please. Because inside there's of that not, hat is, a, is the 12th egg. All right. I'm sorry. What if that you, one what if that what if that one had the prize? Yeah, in it? right. There ain't no prize in none All of right. those eggs. Let's let's clear let's clear this out really quick because I know these eggs are empty. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Empty that's eggs. because I had a, have a special set of eggs just for us. You know what? And you we're know gonna what? clear this book out of here. Competition. Just, you uh, do that carefully, please. Competition always makes me thirsty, Ed. I think it's time for a real drink. It is happy hour after all. That's uh, well, I don't have anything. You got uh, a couple glass. Get, get a couple glasses. You know I got something. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hold on. My my mat pocket had an egg in it. Let's see what happens when I open my cyanide pocket. Hey, hey, look at that one. All right. Still, I still can't get the hang of, uh, now what do we have here? This is a uh, special, special vintage of uh, alcohol. <laughs> it's a very delicate and complicated mixture of liquor and non-liquor flavorings. Drink it. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're enjoying these out of the uh, Oscar Getz uh, whiskey museum. It's in Bardstown. It's, it's a literal <coughs> museum. Well, cheers, sir. Cheers. Uh, congratulations on finding all 12 eggs. Yeah, no challenge at all. <coughs> all right. I, ah, that was a challenge I was right. too. All right. Uh, <coughs> not quite sure what that is. All right. So, Ow. um, I think let's clear that glass out of there. I think we're yep. going to. I think all we're right. going to do a let's reveal for everybody here. Let's make sure I get this centered right there. Now, well, I'm just going to do this. Just a slow reveal here. I love large Easter eggs. And you know what? So I, do I. You know what I really love about large Easter eggs? When they're full of a bunch of stuff. That's well, awesome. These Easter eggs are definitely mm -hmm. full. This one, I thought this one was blue, but it's actually uh, green. You want green or pink? <coughs> pink, please. All right. So. <laughs> Be careful with these. You probably right. you're probably gonna want to hold it like that. Okay. Delicately, because there is some magic in here, and you're probably gonna want to. Don't bang it on the table because we got the mics. Just bang it on your uh, hand. Is this there. thing full of cigarettes? It is not full of All cigarettes. Right. I'm gonna go into our can here a second. I'm gonna open this, and we what we have here. 
is a delicious ham salad. Oh Lordy, Lord! Ham man. salad made, and I'll get you. I'll get you a spoon. Oh, right here. what a bouquet! The clean spoon. All right. It immediately filled up the entire. <laughs> it immediately filled up the entire space with its aroma. Now I'm just gonna go right back in here again. This ham salad. That is, you know what I think mine looks a little bit better. All right, we'll it's go got a that. little bit better modeling and uh, texture on it there. And that folks, I, I know what you're probably wanting salad. to ask: uh, what's in this ham salad? Well, mm -hmm. uh, the ham yeah, salad. Did you make this out of? Uh, uh, gonna go here with our ingredients. Here we got one DAC celebrity canned mm -hmm. ham. It is the finest canned ham Denmark has to offer. Uh, and when you open the can uh, to get the ham out, you want to reserve the brine. That's that's what's going to give you a lot of taste. Uh, two scallions, chop mm -hmm. them up fine. You mm -hmm. look like you had a question there. No, I was just gonna, I was just gonna add that normally we advise people to rinse that brine off. Yes. Okay. Because it'll but give this you is the one, This is the one time you're gonna save it. Yeah. Normally, if you right. eat one of these whole hams here, uh, and I'll show you the ham in a second. Yeah. If you eat one, uh, you're gonna get a headache if you don't rinse the brine off. So, but in this case, you want to reserve it. Mm -hmm. uh, one red pepper, eight tablespoons of mayonnaise if you're counting. Mm -hmm. uh, about half a half a jar if you're not counting, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's just, I just find it. Oh, let me get my uh, thing off there. Would it, all right. It, was I'm that the gonna, ingredients for us? That was the ingredients. <laughs> Mostly ham and booze. All mm. right. And this is you made, know, of course, with a Dak Celebrity Can. And I'm going to say right now, that is delicious. It is rather delicious. I'm glad you, you kept the brine in there. But uh, but I do have a question, mm -hmm. sort of a, a hypothetical proposition, yep. if you will. This would be absolutely stupendous on a little uh, baguette or mm -hmm. a French bread or whatever kind of, mm. you know, maybe a little crusty. But I do, right now, in this in this state on its own, I feel like it could be a little dry. Mm. I can see that. Well, we, we got any plans to, to oh, you want address your, uh, that issue? You want to, well, my wife did make something here. I'm going to go back on this uh, camera here. Did I nail it? I nailed it. No. Nope. Let me, let me uh, just as you. Uh, it's a little bit of gravy for this ham salad here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to our camera here. All right. I'm just going to. You want some? Oh, I definitely want some. Oh, <laughs> look at it go. Mm. Now, that is not a dry ham salad. It is not. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. That chicken broth? Mmm. It's pork broth. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Now, there was something. I felt inclined to turn over here for some reason. I thought there was something I forgot. But, oh, yeah. Here, here's something. I'm going to finish my. Oh! And I'll put oh, this. Oh, that is a good, that is good pork broth by L'Oreal. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this over on the. Uh... Okay. All right. Yeah, you're oh, I got to get it uh, full. Got to put just... it on the. Uh... Close up over Iron here. There. Okay. Just sort of that. That is the uh, just you. Uh, good right, grief! Let, let me handle it. All right, there. I think it's in the shot. That is the look at the uh, look at the golden amber of that mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, you know, when Ed told me I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to break the fourth wall here for a second. I already knew that he had you. <laughs> and when Ed said that his wife had made pork broth. And put it in a dispenser. You know what I said? I said, oh, you. <laughs> you know, because, uh, well, that's beef. But I, I was, I was kind in, of the same difference. I was in the other room. Um, mm -hmm. well, I I'm just going to finish this. Off. I know my wife is making a uh, beef and something, beef and barley mm -hmm. uh, thing for dinner tonight. Um, I haven't checked in with the chat. For a second, see what Anybody we got going me? on here. Um, uh, that is delicious, and that is beef broth and not whiskey. But here we go, and that's the best thing. Well, this is beef broth. Ow, ow, hi, Walker. If you've got more, I, I can't drink that. Yeah, um, I feel like there was something else we were supposed to talk about. I feel like we've made a mess. Of wow, not just the table, but the, the but the entire uh, the entire uh, enterprise here. Well, I don't want. You know, we've had a lovely Easter dinner. I found some empty eggs, which is half a victory, I guess. But uh, I did want to take Ed to task very quickly about his uh, 
continuing uh, dramatic exploitation of his fiction that he's woven around uh, the relationship that I have with my hairdresser, Monique. Uh, I did see, you... I was not, I was not here because, yes, I was asleep, but it was because I was up till six in the morning drinking. I wasn't here for his uh, last uh, broadcast, but he made uh, continuing allegations about my relationship with my hairdresser. And you know, Ed, I, I just, I gotta say, I think this is what them uh, P-psychologists call transference, right? I think Ed is missing something somewhere, and he wants to concoct a, a drama that he can vicariously live out in somebody else. He's but carrying, he's is, carrying on an affair with it's, his it's Laotian hairdresser. You know, the, the closest I ever got to any inappropriate uh, uh, behavior with Monique was... That one time when I was laid up in bed after a, after a dune buggy accident, and Monique, what is it about the word dune buggy that you can't handle? I just, I don't think you've ever been on a dune buggy. I don't think you understand what a dune buggy is. Apparently, I don't. Tia Del Mar, slightly north. Uh, there's a there's a dunes park. I've also been down to Florence, uh, just south of Florence. A dunes, it's a state it's a national park, actually. All right, none of this changes the fact that he's carrying on a fact relationship. Fact is, okay, so I was in bed. I was in bed laid up after my dune buggy accident. Dune buggy. And Monique came over to cut my hair, and obviously I couldn't leave bed, so she, I was in bed, and uh, she's not a very big lady, so she had to get on top of the bed to get the right angle to get my sideburns straight. So technically, we were both on slash in the same bed, but that don't mean we're sleeping together. Ed, you know, you know what else I take specific umbrage to is the idea that I would ever urinate in your ear. It's an expression. Now, I understand given... it's an expression, but you are painting a, an inaccurate and disgusting picture. Closest I have ever come to urinating on anything that Ed owned All right, we was that one just, time. That one time right, Ed was in one of his brown studies, and he's and he's a, you know he's sitting there and he's been drinking too much, and he's just got his skivvies on, and he says, "Cole, you ain't even my real friend. You ain't my friend. Hey, hey, you wouldn't even pee on me if I was on fire to put it out." And then I set him on fire to prove him wrong, and I put that fire out fast, you know, because. Uh, uh, Wilson urine is uh, reputed for its uh, retardant capabilities, whether that be open flame or uh, chemical burn or uh, stingray bite or jellyfish bite. So I just won't say it happened that one time, but that don't mean you can you can spin that expression and, and paint that picture. I also went Are sleeping you done? with Monique. No, <laughs> he done. All right. Are you done? I'm just I'm waiting done. for he's he's. Monique is not married, and he's sweet on her, and she's sweet on him. And she is so married. How do what? I went. I went to the the Wikipedia. Went yeah, to the courthouse and looked already. it up. Uh huh. All right. Um, did you talk to Stephanie? I, I did. Because you know to Stephanie. how Stephanie's headed out for me. Right. I think. I think we're. Uh, I think it's time to wrap it up, uh, folks. I hope that we have made a Good Friday a better Friday for you, or possibly. Arguably, it, it could be within the realm of possibility. We've made it the best Friday. Whatever you're doing for Easter weekend, uh, or whatever you're not doing for Easter weekend, uh, I think I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, and just oh, a remind okay. just a reminder that we'll be here uh, next Friday. Uh, you know, April is Poetry Month, and uh, I don't want that to uh, be a spoiler. But uh, we might have some poetry on the show next Friday. It ain't poetry. Uh, sorry. I finally started reading. I'll edit that part out. I finally started reading East of Eden. Uh, well, all right. We, so we, you, I'm, I'm only about 15 pages that's in. Fi that's fine. We so can talk about, about East of, we'll talk about East of Eden uh, some mm -hmm. other time. All right. Uh, folks, we're going to sign off. Uh, we hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Uh, we will see you uh, next time. Uh, I'm Big Ed Barnum. I'm Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson. And we thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Hey, all right. Well played.